hi guys I honestly cannot believe that it's already time for my June favorites this month has completely flown by I know it's a complete cliche thing to say in a favorites video but I think it's just because I've been doing so much so I've just been all over the place I've been in Greece and in France and yeah I've just been doing a lot of traveling so I actually do have a lot of products for this month which I've just been keeping note of and writing down. Because I've been travelling I've been taking obviously like a finite number of products and I've just been using them and loving them and I've got quite a lot of new stuff so I'm going to jump in and get started with it. Okay I'm going to start with some makeup. I've got a box over here so it's going to be kind of a random order as usual. The first thing I'm going to show you is the base I've been favouring this month and it is my Bourjois it's kind of faded here actually, it's my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. So this is a sort of gel consistency and it's in the shade 53 Light Beige and I used this all the time last summer and I've cracked it back out again because I'm slightly more tanned so I can't use this in the cold months because it's just way too dark but I've just found that this is my go-to. It's definitely a lot more lightweight than things I've been wearing in the past and it's a bit more sheer and I just find that it's perfect for this time of year because you don't want such a heavy base and I've just been going to it non-stop. My absolute go-to bronzer this month and possibly the only bronzer I've used this month, I'm pretty sure I might have used another one just randomly on one day but it's been my NARS Laguna which I've just been using all the time and I picked this up because obviously this is sort of a cult classic product which I just really really was desperate to try and at first I was like mm, it just seems like another bronzer but this is just, it's just a great bronzer. I find that it's so pigmented and it's so easy to just apply. You can apply it in just like two seconds. I find like it takes no time to apply this bronzer and it's just a great shade. I think it's just foolproof basically. I really, really love it. It's super pigmented, but then also really easy to blend. So you don't just get like a huge stripe on your cheek, but you can actually, you can just put it on and then blend it out really easily. And it's just kind of one swipe and blend and go. Yeah, it's just a really, really great bronzer. One product I've always been a little bit scared of is highlighter. And I think that's just because I'm just always afraid that my face can be super shiny and look really oily. I haven't quite got to grips with like really intense highlighters and really obvious ones and I've had this one for a while and it's the Soap and Glory Glow All Out highlighter. It's called a Luminizing Radiance Face Powder and I, at first I just thought it didn't really do anything because it is a really subtle highlighter. It's this pink shade here but it comes out just really really subtly. You don't get much of the actual colour. When you swatch anything it comes up there, you can see it. And then I've picked up quite a lot there and it has come up quite pink but I find that when you put it on your face it's just really really subtle. I do have it on now and I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but it just gives a really subtle sheen sort of to the face. I tend to powder my foundation after I apply it so it kind of comes out as quite a matte finish and I find that this just adds the perfect amount of like extra dimension without being too shimmery or shiny. This month I've tended to use more cream products because I've just wanted things that look more natural and sort of just sink into the skin and I picked up the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in the shade Soft Pink which is this really sort of just dinky little cream blush and I find that this is just super easy to blend and you can just pop it on and it's a really pretty shade as well, just a pinky shade which just works for every day. I just tend to kind of dot it on my cheeks with my finger and then I either blend it in with my finger or take a brush and it just blends so easily and it's just a really quick sort of blush which I've just been really loving and it looks really natural. So. I've been reaching for that Max Factor blush quite often. Another thing which I've just been reaching for all the time are my Makeup Revolution palettes, eye palettes, and I just find myself grabbing these over my more expensive ones. I think just because the shades are great. I did a whole video on this, I'll link it below, like a video on all the different palettes which I have. And this is the Iconic One, which is sort of the Urban Decay Original Naked palette to dupe so I just find these shades are just so universal and I just I just gravitate to them and these are just really good for traveling they're quite sort of compact and because they're cheap I just don't worry about traveling with them because 
this is four pounds so if anything happens to it like if I lose it or if it breaks or something like that I'm not too worried but the and the color range is just great I just think it's great anyone that has the naked palette will understand like the colors are just great it's just a great traveling palette I just tend to go to it because it's just easy and I've taken it traveling this month a lot also the other one I've been using a lot is the lock and load palette which I got in the British beauty blogger dream box beauty box I have a video on that as well and I'll link it below and this one is just more colorful more brights in there and it's got some eyebrow shades as well which is just super useful so you don't have to take something separate and there's two shades in here which I have just been absolutely loving they're just beautiful and it's this shade here I'll swatch them for you so this sort of coppery just really pretty colour and I just love that you can put it all over the lid and also this shade here which looks kind of blue in the pan but when you swatch it it's actually purple there and yeah these two shades are just beautiful I'll just pop them on here onto my hand so you can have a better look so it's these two at the bottom and I just think they are gorgeous colours and I've just been reaching for this palette as well a lot these are the two palettes which I've just taken travelling so the lock and load palette and the iconic one from makeup revolution they're both only four pounds so i would definitely recommend these and they are definitely my favorites they're just beautiful shades really good pigmentation for the price and easy to blend and all that fun stuff i find that they can tend to crease after a little bit but if you just pop a good primer underneath them then they should be good for all day i've got two mascaras to mention first is my maybelline the rocket waterproof mascara and I've always loved this ever since I tried it um, a year or two ago the first time and I just love what it does to my lashes, I've got it on now and I've got a video coming up which will show you a bit more about this in depth so I won't dwell on it but yeah I really really enjoy this mascara and the waterproof formula is great as well I really like the regular too and the other mascara I've been really loving and using a lot is my Estee Lauder Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara and this is just a sample size and I actually have a backup sample size one as well and this brush is pretty big but it is tapered so I just find that it's super easy to apply to the lashes and this never ever sort of transfers to my lid when I apply it. I just find like for some reason even though it's got this huge brush it just is so easy to apply and it just, just I don't know, it just kind of works for me and I really like the volume that it gives and I just really enjoy using this mascara. I really like the tapered shape of the brush, I think it's great. I think I really want to try the um, L'Oreal Miss Manga one because I know that has a tapered brush as well and it looks good. I think it's quite, it might be smaller brush than this but yeah I really really like this mascara. been using it a lot this month. That's all the makeup I have for this month but I have a nail polish. This is my Nail Girls polish. I can't remember what the shade is um, but I'll pop it below. But I really really like this pink. I just, I've worn it in a couple of my last videos if you go back you'll be able to see it on my nails but I really really have liked this and I've used it I think I painted it twice in a row or painted over it at least I really like this pink and I found that it lasts a long time and it's just a great shade I just really love the shade so I've been wearing this quite a lot this month okay I've got one skincare item again from my um, dream box the British Beauty Blogger box I said I've mentioned this before but I'm mentioning it now and it is the Locatine, 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 um, Divine Lotion. And it's sort of a, I guess, serum or like, I say it's more of a serum-y type lotion and you just pop it on after. So I'll use it at night, so I'll like do my makeup remover, cleanser, toner, then I'll go with this and then moisturiser after. And it just sinks into the skin and it just feels really good. And it's just a really good extra step and I just really really like this. I've tried the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and I think I prefer this. I think this is just as pricey but I really really like it and this is a really good sort of sample size 50 milliliters. and I'm only, it's literally just to here so I've still got loads to go. I really really love this. I find that it's just a really sort of pampering product. I just really enjoy using it so I've been loving this, the Locatone Divine Lotion. So a while back I ordered a load of Sigma brushes from America and I finally got them, I think either early this month or um, sort of late last month. And I've got a few 
that have just stood out to me. Sigma brushes are amazing, I really love the ones I have. I have the essential kit but I ordered a ton more. So I picked up the Sigmax Kabuki kit and I just wanted to try the F80, the flat Kabuki, because this is branded as pretty much the best foundation brush. It's just loved so widely on YouTube and wanted to give it a go. And I have found that it's just a great foundation brush. It just doesn't leave marks, it always just blends in really easily. These are a bit dirty because I use them obviously. And I just find that it's just dense enough to sort of get the foundation on and use the product and just distribute it. The shape is really good and yeah, I've really really been using this every single day and just not using, not reaching for anything else. So this is my F80 Flat Kabuki. Also the F86 Tapered Kabuki I've been using for concealer and it is just really quick and easy. Just pop concealer under your eyes and just do this and it just blends out in no time. And it picks up excess product as well so you never have sort of cakey concealer. So I've been using that loads as well. Also from that same kit, the Round Kabuki F82, I've been using that to blend in blush. So this is the F80 and this is the F82, the Round Kabuki. So this I've been using, especially for that cream blush, just to sort of blend it in. I did try to use this one for foundation as well, just to try it out to see how it was. And I quite like it for foundation as well. I think um, they're both great for foundation, maybe for different foundations. I think I definitely need to play around with them a little bit more to sort of say. But this one's probably a bit sort of not as soft, maybe more densely packed. But I really, really like both brushes and yeah, I'm sort of going between the two as to what foundations. I think this one is meant to be for more sort of mineral foundations. But yeah, I really, really like both of them. And then just a quick shout out to my F35 Tapered Highlighter. I've been using this with my Soap and Glory highlighter and it's just the perfect shape and size for the cheekbones. Just swipe it on and then blend it out and it's just super quick. And also my Small Tapered Blending E45, I found that this is just perfect, 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 exactly what I was looking for and exactly what I was hoping it would be for blending shadow into sort of the outer corner and just being a bit more precise with it. I love how it's tapered, I love how firm it is. It's not super firm but it's not too sort of floppy so I just find that I can do everything I want with it and then this is good for placing the shadow and sort of blending it a little bit and if you want to blend a bit more take a bigger blending brush but these are kind of in the same family so the F35 and F F35 and the E45 really really loving those as well. Showing you that brush just reminded me of another favourite which was over there which I almost forgot about but I will just pop it out for you now. So another favourite this month is an eyeshadow from MAC and it is Sketch Eyeshadow. This is super pigmented. I've got it in my outer corner today just sort of really lightly blended out and it's quite hard to even get it this light but I really really love this shadow. I love purples, I just adore purples and I'll just swatch it. So that's, I've barely touched it, I literally just went tap 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 to pick up that and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous shadow so it's here there and yeah I've just been reaching for this loads I just think it's a great shadow I've sort of blended it a little bit under the lash line as well just really lightly super pigmented and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it as well so it's just sort of fun really like it been using that all month as well okay I've got one hair care favorite I feel like this video has probably got pretty long but I've got one hair care favorite and then a couple of non-beauty favorites which I just want to throw in but my hair favourite is my Lee Stafford Sea Salt Spray and I've used loads of this but I've had it for a while and I just find that this is really good at putting texture into my hair and my hair is really straight so I, it's quite hard to find products that actually put texture in without sort of curling first and then doing it and I just find that this actually gives me texture without having to curl it so I can just use this straight away like when I've washed it or second day hair or anything and it just gives me that texture I tend to put hairspray in after, it doesn't really hold it, but you can just spray it in. I'll just do it for you now. So you sort of spray it in, scrunch it up, and it does actually add texture. You can feel it in there. It definitely feels like you've actually got sea salt water <laughs> in your hair, so it's like you've just been to the beach. You've got a bit of grittiness in your hair and just a bit of texture, which I find like I need quite often. So I've been grabbing this a lot recently, and... Yeah, just go back to it. I've had it for 
since like September or something I've just been going back to it. I really really like this sea salt spray. I want to try some other ones but I think I need to get through this one first. So I've just been grabbing this for my hair so it's really good for sort of straight hair which is not too textured naturally. So I've got two non-beauty favourites just to mention really quickly. The first is Grey's and you've probably heard of Grey's, it's sort of snack boxes they send you but I actually accidentally ordered a breakfast box, I'm not even sure how I did it but it showed up at my house and I was like oh okay um, and it had four different cereals in it and I'm not even a big cereal person so I, did, I just thought okay I'll eat them since I have them now but I'm not too fussed by it, I didn't think I'd really like them. I've only got one packet here which is actually what I had this morning and I didn't even really like this one which is a bit unfortunate but three out of the four cereals which I had are ones I really liked and this is La Peach's Provencial so it's a peach, apricot and orange granola and on the back it says what's in it so it's got peach, apricot, orange infused granola, crispy multigrain flakes and puffed brown rice and I just found that the cereals they give you are so interesting and like so different because I find cereal to be just quite boring so they really throw in flavour and different textures and things like that so I just really really loved the box and I think I'm going to order another one because it was just really tasty they are £3.99 um, so you get four cereals it's like a pound and you only get one serving in there so it's not the cheapest but I really enjoyed it and I don't have cereal too much so I, could pr I would probably order one every now and again but they just have a really I just really enjoy what they put in them they're just really fun so you can get different boxes as well, like snack boxes with like just little treats. There's a lot of different varieties that they have. So I would recommend Grey's. You can definitely you can find codes as well. I'll try and see if I have a code and I'll pop it down below for you get like your first box free and that kind of thing. So yeah, the breakfast box from Grey's really enjoyed that. It was a bit of a random favourite, unexpected. And then my next favourite is a book series and it is the Maze Runner series. So this is the book I'm on at the moment, which is The Death Cure, and this is the third one in the series. So I've read the other two this month, and this is the last one, and then I think there's a prequel as well. So I really, really enjoyed reading The Maze Runner, and the second one is called The Scorch Trials. I read through The Scorch Trials in like a day. I was on a holiday, so kind of read a bit quicker, but still, I've just really, really enjoyed them, and I've got high hopes for this one. There's a film coming out, I think, in October, The Maze Runner film, and... I'm a really big fan of the show Teen Wolf and the, if you've seen Teen Wolf, Styles. so Dylan O'Brien is the main character in the Maze Runner film, Thomas, and yeah, I've just been loving these books this month and I'm so excited for the movie, I literally can't wait, even though it's a bit away. So I'm probably, I started this literally yesterday, I'm already on chapter 14, they are really really short chapters, there's like 60 chapters in the book and it's not that big, but they're just... I just find that the story is just so fast moving and at the end of each chapter there's like a crazy twist and I want to read what happens next because I just can't put it down and I just love, I just, it just keeps me gripped and entertained and I've just really really enjoyed them. So I would recommend this trilogy for sure because it's so fun. So that's all my favourites, I feel like this video is probably really long and I've been rambling and talking for a really long time so I'm going to stop now. But if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I've got lots of things planned in the next few weeks I'm really excited about. I've got a few products that I picked up in France and then lots of sort of reviews and things like that. It's going to be really, really fun. So please subscribe if you would like to see the things coming up so you don't miss any of it. And yeah, I think that's it. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.